So in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to talk you through how to correctly apply curves to your images to make adjustments to contrast or brightness, whichever you need uh, need it for, um, without without the process killing the detail of your image. We've gone to all this trouble already to colour correct and fine tune our exposure. The last thing we want to do now, adding curves to boost it with contrast or brightness, is to uh, bring back any colour correction problems or exposure problems. So a way we do this is um, is called um, by preserving the luminosity and a simple way of explaining that is that uh, luminosity is um, uh, is applied so the, when we adjust a highlight we only affect the highlights and when we adjust a shadow we only affect the shadows. Uh, the mid-tones mid pretty much remain unaffected so we're not adjusting the colours that are in those mid-tones. Um, and we do a, it's just a simple process to to maintain the luminosity, and we do it by adding a adding a mask, a grayscale mask from the R RGB channel. Now, before we add, apply any curves or anything, the first thing we need to do is load this mask in into our image, and we do that by holding down Control on the keyboard and having our channels open. Now, if we look above the RGB, here, if we hold down Control while we're across the RGB, it's the little square selection tool come up. If we now click on RGB and let go, it will load our luminosity into our picture. So now any curves that we add into that will adjust only the highlights or the shadows and leave the midtones and the colours and the colour spectrum, the range of tone intact. Uh, and I shall demonstrate that to you now. So if we click on uh, adjustment layers and go to curves, remembering that we've got our curves set to pigment ink. If I click on the center, I'll just make that 50, and then in output, if I had a 10% had a highlight uh, increase or a 20% increase, you can see 20 is probably a little bit too much, so I'll go back to there. That's a nice uh, increase in uh, exposure or brightness, if you like. We've not affected the color, the colors have all stayed the same. If you look, uh, look around the shadows across a figure, down a face, on a outfit all these shadows have all pretty much stayed the same we've not killed any detail so that's doing the highlight po portion of it I'm just going to rename that curves to H for highlight so I know what it is now we could repeat that process to, to add um, shadow to our image but we don't really want to be repeating everything so a simple simple way of doing this is by copying the layer we just made the H layer copying it by pressing on Control and J makes us a copy. As you can see it's double brightness obviously we've got two versions of it so we've got a double brightness but what we need to do is make that uh, a negative of that positive so anything we adjust will only be in the shadows not in the highlights. So before I do that I'm just going to rename that to S so now it's for shadows and then I'm going to double click on it so, um, like so and I'm just going to bring that back down to the center just for now and then I'm going to press Control and I on the keyboard to invert that. So this channel is now a negative of that one. I'll open it up again. Click in the center there. And whenever I'm adjusting shadows, I never do 10% increments. I only ever do small percentages because I just find that 10% is nearly always too much. So if we just come down the way, and then we'll, we'll go down as far as 10. And we'll, we'll click OK. If we then blind it, you can see the effect we had. If we then switch them both off, there's our original exposure after our fine tuning. We then added some more highlights while preserving luminosity. We then added some shadow while preserving luminosity. And we can now micro adjust these to suit our needs by clicking on there and maybe adding that much. And again, clicking on the shadow, maybe adding another five percent now you can see you know even though we've gone pretty extreme there the colors are not too bad compared to wanging the slider about everywhere uh, in the previous um, tutorial I showed you we're not really killing the image I mean it's on the edge I wouldn't I wouldn't put an image out like that but just showing the ex extremes you can do um, by this technique so we'll just go back to what I originally thought which was uh, a ten percent there and a five percent on there 
and that's quite a contrasty well exposed image as it stands and you can uh, again you can fine tune them by feathering them with the opacity you click on V on the keyboard to select the pointer tool you can then just hit the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to decide your pin set so let's say we want 70% on that one we just hit 7 it brings back a little brightness by reducing the shadow a little same if we want a little bit less highlight let's say 80% hit 8 on the keyboard we've now got 80% so you can fine tune these as much as you want um, the good thing about it is it's totally non-destructive and also we've not affected the colour of the picture because we preserve the luminosity by adding the grayscale alpha channel mask by holding down control and hitting RGB before we started and that is the correct way to add brightness and contrast to your image